it's me katie we just got finished making these videos for you so i look a little hot and sweaty but that's okay <laughs> so this video is going to be for like intermediate office it's like beginner office for less advanced people coming right out of skate school or you're just starting skating so that's what this video is because i know i definitely have a younger audience so miss rebecca here is awesome she did these workouts for us ah! <laughs> and so these are her daughters these are my helpers so big shout out to avery avery Brielle is a dancer and Avery is just starting skating so this is a video for her age group and just her level so obviously this is another video in my off ice series and I really hope you enjoy it so get off your butts and let's do some awesome off ice all right for warm-ups we're gonna start with scales which is very similar to spirals in skating so we're gonna grab some weights for this so Avery is going to grab two Gatorade bottles which are equivalent to two pounds each and I'm gonna grab a gallon of water which is equivalent to 8.35 pounds Brielle is just gonna use regular weights so if you guys have weights at home you can definitely use those you don't need to use weights, but it's great to have them. You can even use a plastic water bottle if you need to. So moving on to these scales, I have the weight in the same hand as the leg that I'm lifting. So I'm going to shoot that leg back and do one row. As you can see, I'm going to bring it back forward and then I'm going to do two rows the next time. So you just go two, three, four, all the way to five. Scales are amazing. They make you so much stronger and they're great for your balance. Believe me, when I first started them, I was falling everywhere, but they've made me so much stronger and I definitely recommend doing these. If the weight is too much for you and you're falling everywhere, you can't balance, put the weight down and focus on your balance. Try your best to keep your foot off the ground the whole time. If it's really burning your opposite leg, you can go ahead and drop it, but really try to keep that foot up. All right, now moving on to shoot the ducks. As you can see, we have three different levels here. So Avery is in the back with a dog leash in her door and she is doing this just for stability. So if you are doing this at home, make sure you're using your leg muscles and not using the leash to pull yourself up. So Brielle in the back at the wall is a dancer. Avery and I are figure skaters, obviously. So she didn't know that we kept our foot flat on the ground when we do shoot the ducks. That would be pretty bad if we were on our toe, just saying. Anyway, if you don't have a dog leash, Brielle is showing us a different way of doing this. So you're going to go to your wall and lift the leg that is farthest from the wall. Try not to use that wall as much as you can. And then I am obviously not using anything. So work your way up through the levels and finally get to not using anything. Make sure you go down in three seconds. Hold that position for five seconds and then come up in three seconds to get your maximum leg workout. Alright, now moving on to flexibility, you all can take off your shoes if you need to, but we're going to lift our leg and try to hold it for 5 seconds at least. When doing these stretches, try to keep both of your legs straight and focus on something in front of you to keep your balance. All right, so we're gonna do some interval training or Tabata, whatever you call it. So Miss Rebecca is showing us that you can use your timer on your phone. In this workout, you are going to do each exercise for 20 seconds and then you get a 10 second break in between. We are gonna show you two rounds, but if you can do three, that is awesome. Yeah. 
for a distant star Don't stop now Listen to the stage and I was safe and home To the neck out and dance until the second bow If you're gonna break those shades, you have to let me know Turn this shit around, just out of top the notes Cause all you need to do Thank you.
Now we are moving on to some partner exercises. So these are gonna be 30 seconds exercising, 10 second rest. You can do these exercises with your siblings, your parents, whoever is around. This first one is plank jump over crawl through. So as you can see, I was jumping over Avery's ankles and then she's gonna go into a high plank and I'm gonna crawl through her. So we're gonna show you once again with Avery. She'll jump over my ankles, I'll go into a high plank and then she will crawl through. But if you are a parent and you don't wanna get under your kid or they're too small, you can always just have them hold their plank and step over them. So you still get a little bit of exercise with them, but it's making them hold their plank. Now we are doing some sit-ups with a high five. So you wanna interlock your legs like Avery and I are doing, do some nice sit-ups and high five every time because you guys are awesome. some patty cake planks so make sure you are on your hands and your butt is down and just patty cake it out. Really try to hold this plank but if it gets too hard for you like it is for Avery you can always go on your knees just try to stay up and keep it going. Next up is wall sits and Avery and I added a gallon of water so we just kept passing that back and forth so if you have a gallon of water or some weights you can pass that back and forth while you do your wall sits. is partner pistol sits. I know we did these for our warm up, but they are very important for skaters to get stronger because we need really strong legs for our sit spins, our jumps, pretty much everything in skating. So for these pistol sits, you wanna hold your partner's hand and do the opposite foot that they are doing. But if you are a parent and don't feel like doing it with your child, you can just hold their hands and support them while they do it. So now we are doing resistance with a jump rope. So if you don't have a jump rope, you can use a dog leash, some sort of rope, anything you have at home. If you're doing this with a sibling and your sibling wants to do it, you can add another 30 seconds to this workout and have them do it while you squat and try to hold them back. Really try to keep it going for the full 30 seconds, but if you need to, you can take a little break. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and got a good workout out of it. Thank you again to Rebecca and her daughters for being in this video with me. If you did enjoy this video and wanna see more, please give it a big thumbs up and a higher level office video will be coming soon. If you have not already and you'd like to, please click that subscribe button down below to become a member of our big happy IKD family and also click the bell next to it to get notified when I post videos. Also for behind the scenes and to follow me on my skating journey, follow all my social medias at SKA, SKATIE for Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Also follow my skating fitness and food Instagram it's I Katie with an extra E on Katie remember you are so so awesome and don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise I will see you guys next time bye my skaties